I hope you have the time, and if you don't, just put this video on, watch later or something like that, and make sure you come back to it when you do have the time, because hopefully this is going to be very exciting, at least for me, because I'm open right now, you guys, so let's get it on and pop it. Without further ado, this is Who Is BTS? The Seven Members of Bang 10. Let's get it. He's right about that. So far, it already starts off right by saying, on stage, they're known for their fiery performances, complex choreography, and moving lyrics. And that's the first thing, well, not the first thing, but I could say that's three things in one that I automatically got from the very first time I listened to them, especially when I heard the second video. The first time I ever heard Idol, which is the first song that I heard from BTS, as you guys probably already know, if you haven't seen that reaction, make sure you check it out. You know what I mean? The first time I heard these guys, I was like, whoa, I was blown away. It definitely caught me by storm. I was a little bit thrown off by some of the stuff because, again, I knew nothing about South Korea. You know what I'm saying? And I'm ashamed to say it at this age right now. You know what I mean? I'm a grown-ass man and stuff like that. But I didn't know much about the K-pop scene other than what I saw from Jay Park. And when I saw Jay Park freestyle on Swing in the Morning or on the radio, bro, and I'm talking about this brother was in Chicago on the radio station, freestyled in English, you know what I'm saying? So he definitely had locked me in at that moment in time. And he was so good, man. I was very impressed for somebody who didn't live in the United States. It blew me away. You know what I mean? So through him, I heard them mentioning the words BTS and they thought that he was down with BTS or something like that. And he made it clear that he wasn't. But it actually piqued my interest in finding out who is BTS. And here we go, man. We about to find out together again, you guys. I'm sorry I had to stop that, but you know how I do it. If I have something to say, I'm going to say it. You know what I mean? Hopefully you, you guys will understand. Remember, I'm just starting out with this. You guys probably have a lot more time. You guys are veterans. But me, I am just a private in your army. Let's get it. That's your boy RM. Basically, he is what I consider the RZA of the Wu-Tang Clan. He is the RZA of BTS. The brainchild behind everything. The, I'm sorry, not the brainchild, but the brains behind everything. And BTS seems to be his brainchild. You know what I mean? So this is cool. I'm about to find a, a lot more about my man RM, man. Let's get it, you guys. By the way, I did see Rap Monsters joke and that video was off the hook, man. I have that reaction for you. I don't know if it's up right now. By the time you're watching this, if you really want to see RM's joke, hit up the comment section. Let me know how much you want to see it. Throw me a bunch of likes and, you know, if I see it, bro, you guys will have it probably within the next day or two. Other than that, I'm sitting on that right now and I'm very excited to show it to you guys. But, you know, I don't want to drown out everybody with too much BTS and everything like that because I don't want to run these guys into the ground. I really like their music, but I don't want to mess it up. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hit you with so much back-to-back -back BTS. Although, I can't get enough of it myself. And I'm sitting on it. I got more material. In fact, after this, I'm going to watch some more BTS. You know what I'm saying? So just make sure you guys have the notification button on if you want to see more material. And I'm paying attention to each and every one of them. So eventually, you're going to turn on your notification bell. And you're going to see, oh, shoot, this is my goddamn video. He finally got to it. That's how we move around. I don't forget you guys. I pay attention to everything you guys are doing. Let's get it. Hold up. RM made the difficult decision of staying in BTS. His peers looked down on him for betraying hip-hop. Wow, they saying he betrayed hip-hop because he decided to go into another field? 
That's crazy. You know, you see he already has the skill still. He didn't forget his roots. I could tell that by listening to his music. But what he probably was thinking, you know what? This is what's calling me right now. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure I get myself out there and get a chance to express my creativity. And I feel the same way, too, because I'm not going to lie. This channel, Real Street News, was, was built on the whole idea of trying to showcase hip-hop, at least my perspective, because there's a lot of things out there that I don't agree with. I appreciate every single person that was actually hitting it up, you know what I'm saying? But when you notice you have an audience that's willing to listen to you, it makes you feel good to know that someone's willing to accept your creativity and accept you for who you are. I don't think this brother forgot where he came from and how people might have acted towards him before, but now it's about his vengeance, without even trying to be vengeance, I'm sure, but it's about him showing and demonstrating who he is and the music being out there speaking for itself. I'm sure right now a lot of women are finding him sexy and willing to try to have this man's baby at this moment in time. My man RM is not playing any games. Let's get it, you guys. By the way, that's ex what they're saying right now, that he's known for his extensive wordplay and ability to rap on diverse and complex beats. That's exactly, see this right here is Joke, you know what I mean? And when I watched Joke, that was my first time hearing him by himself. Bro, that, those are probably the words that exactly came to my mind. You know what I'm saying? That's what he demonstrated to me. So it's good to see this brother doesn't play games. You know, it's funny how people could say that he doesn't fit the standards of Korean beauty. But yet now, because he's himself and stayed true to himself, there's a lot of women out there, I'm sure, falling in love with this brother every time they see him right now, this moment in time. You know what I mean? So I guess the joke, ironically called, is on those who try to play him. Because now he's showing you success. And success is the best vengeance. RM used to be known as Rap Monster. He has outgrown that name, but he still has a studio called Mon Studio, where he has his hand in producing many BTS tracks. Okay, so this right there gives proof to what everybody was telling me. Everybody was telling me RM is behind most of BTS's material. And that's why I started off in the beginning by saying, to me, he's like. Um, RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan because, you know, RZA took all these different people who had their own sound, compiled them together because he knew them all, had a vision about what he wanted to bring to hip-hop, and he was able to do that with the Wu-Tang Clan. But in the end, no matter what anybody else says, everybody knows that RZA is the brain behind the Wu-Tang Clan. RM is basically Professor X of BTS. Am I right or wrong? Can I get it, you guys? <laughs> Let's get it. By the way, the man who was known to not be fitting them the actual standards of what they expect Korean idols to look like is the man behind the best songs in K-pop. That's ironic. That's, yo. Why well, I didn't even know he made that track. I'm bugging out off that. Can't believe he did that. So we have an interpreter just in case I need one, but you actually are, you speak English, right? Yes. So pretty well. You taught yourself English? Yes, I, I taught myself English. Um, actually, my English teacher was a sitcom, Friends. Oh, you watch Friends? Yeah. Ah, he said it. <laughs> Wow, he's the only one fluid in English and he trains everybody to prepare for goddamn interviews. You know, it's funny to hear that because J Hope's song sounds like somebody who actually speaks Korean and English. 
And um, Sugar Song sounds like somebody who speaks English completely. You know what I mean? When I listen to Sugar's tracks, it sounds like a dude who's been speaking English all his life. You know what I mean? Even though it's just some of it's in English and some of it's in Korean, but his English sounds very, very convincing, man. Wow. I'm amazed at these brothers. Thank you. Go all hands. By the way, it just goes to show if you're serious about wanting to do something, these are the results you possibly can get. Look where, they, look where these brothers are right now by just being serious about what they believe in. We want to make new fans in here. Wow. Wow. I chose a bad movie, Thank you for having us. Uh, we will show you everything Aww. today. Oh. As the leader, he has a lot of responsibilities, including resolving conflict, whether it's between the company and the group or between the group members. So basically, he's the mediator. He's the guy who basically keeps his head cool under most circumstances where most people will probably be stressed the fuck out, ready to kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? RM, make sure, look, brothers, we ain't, we're not supposed to be fighting. We have a, a responsibility to all our fans and to everybody that's watching us, period. You know what I'm saying? And we want to show them what a gentleman is supposed to be about and show them that our open mind. We're not hypocrites. We really stand behind the things that we say. And we just want to be good role models because we decided that this is what we wanted when we signed up for being a part of this K-pop movement. You know what I'm saying? Whereas a lot of the music, people don't seem to be conscious or even care about other people that are watching them and the influence they have on people. But the cool thing about BTS from what I can see right now is these dudes are concerned. And though they're not perfect, at least they're there to help each other and try to pull each other up when they see another person is probably acting a fool, I guess. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. They're conscious of the fact that people look up to them. And that's responsible because they really don't have to be. A lot, of a lot of celebrities don't even want to be responsible for other people. But they knew that there are people watching them. With, with great talent comes great responsibility. That's facts. A lot of people don't want to live like that, but that's the truth. RM is known for his beautiful and thoughtful speeches. And that's because the brother is trying to practice what he preaches all the time, obviously. You know and I'm saying he's conscious of it all, like I just finished saying before. You know what I mean? So to people, it's probably like, wow, he says the right things. He's keeping it so constructive. Like he has to create this and create that just to sound good. I think that's just who he is, basically. So when he says stuff, it's just hard for people to believe there's still human beings out there who actually care about others. You know what I'm saying? And actually humble about what's happening to them. Some people who don't forget where they came from. And from where I hear about this brother, I mean, I, we're still going through this right now. But I've heard in the comment section from you guys, the brother's been through a lot before he got to this level right now. And when you watch them for the first time, you would think that this is just how they are. Period. You know what I'm saying? They're just so spick and span and so perfect on stage and stuff like that and in the studio obviously too that you would think that this they have to be like this but it's this video basically gives you a chance to find out it's not easy they got to stay conscious of this type of stuff like that and although it seems easy to us it's just because they're just being who them who they are you know what i'm saying but every now and then like anybody else you got to be reminded you know what i'm saying of who you are and not to let the world take over with all the bad stuff that's going on we don't really need more of that in the world at all so some of us got to be conscious about what we put out there as far as the ng goes you know what i'm saying and that's what they they seem to be doing you know what i mean i think they're very cool when it comes to stuff like that they're conscious of that and i really like that man that, it makes me want to listen to their music even more now you know what i mean because i could listen to it even on another higher level than i already was that's cool to think that they're they're alert like that <laughs> Whoa, hold up. I gotta go back to that part. Let's go back for a second. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm gonna catch that from the beginning if I could. Okay. I'm gonna read this to you guys again. I'm sorry. If you, whoever's getting tired of this, I, I really apologize, but this is how I'm doing it because it's, it's got the closed captions and I really, really want to know about the band and this is a good way. So stay with me on this, you guys. RM starts off by saying, Someday, if our existence or our music, our stage, our photos or videos, if all that can help you even just a little, if your pain is a hundred in the scale of a hundred, 
<laughs> if we can less than 99%, 98% of that, I'm sorry if I messed that up, <laughs> or 97, if we can only make it like that, <laughs> with that, the value of our existence is enough. Now you tell me that's not deep, you guys. Tell me. And I know the fans, you guys saw that, you needed to hear that, man. I'm sure that makes you feel like, man, I'm so glad that I'm a fan of this particular crew. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad I'm a fan of RM. And this makes me even more of a fan. This is why the army is so damn strong. Because you see how their leaders are, basically. You know what I'm saying? These are the people they look up to. Wow. I've heard that, you know, that was like, so, it was so hot in, in Vegas, it was like 30... 35 Celsius, but you know, I've heard that you know, you guys were waiting for the magenta carpet like Like from the morning. I mean like from the dawn. He said the magenta carpet not the red carpet. I like that. Let's go on Like 5 a.m. I, I cannot imagine that Are you okay? <laughs> and thank you so much like for everything for the BBMAs, you know, like Hot 100 like iTunes US and you know, UK chart Thank you. Wow That's humble now here's your boy Jin, one of the vocalists, Kim Sok Jin. I hope I pronounced that right. You guys hit me up and let me know if I did. I hope I did. Jin was a theater student in university when he was scouted after being seen getting off a bus. Damn, bro, I gotta start getting on the buses more. I'm always wasting my time on a train. I wonder if nothing happens for me. Okay, in the fictional storyline that runs throughout BTS music videos, Jin acts in his role as a pivotal character. So there's a storyline between all the videos, by the way, that's kind of like stringing them all together, I guess. Jin's good looks have gotten him a lot of viral attention. First in Korea as a car door guy. What? At a Korean award show? Wow. <laughs> then as third guy from the left after showing up at a Billboard Music Awards 2017. Now I've heard these guys say that before. They love saying worldwide handsome. Whoever actually mentioned that to them, it's stuck in everyone in their heads by now. Just to let you guys know. You know what I'm saying? I hear these brothers all the time. Hey, oh, I think I am worldwide handsome. Oh, I love my eyes. I love this. I love that. And that's cool as hell to see, man. It's just funny to see them bouncing that off. They got a good sense of humor, bro. By the way, I hope I'm worldwide handsome too. Shoot. I've been trying my best. I'll be wearing the nice colognes and wearing lotions and all that good stuff. Let's get it. <laughs> ah, worldwide handsome, quote unquote, has become a running gag for Jin, who is amused that he's still considered handsome outside of Korea. Wow, bro. You see, brother, just to let you know, Jin, if you happen to see this, the world is becoming more open-minded. And a lot of your fans are not just Korean. I'm sure you know that by now because I'm finding that out myself too. You know what I'm saying? And that's surprising. So I understand where he's coming from. But I can only imagine on the magnitude this brother is though. You know what I'm saying? I know you girls ate that up. Hold up, Jin also has other running gags, such as his flying kiss and his tendency to pull out paper hearts from random places. That's some smooth stuff I'm gonna start doing too, paper hearts. Thank God I'm in the US, girls don't probably, probably know that as much as, I guess, BTS uh, army girls, but for those who are just regular mortal girls, I'm sure they don't even know about how smooth that seems. And I'm gonna use that. Sorry, Jin, but I'm actually gonna steal that from you, my brother. Let's go. Oh, 
He cares and cooks for the younger ones and hosts eating segments called Eat Gin. See, that's... <laughs> you know what's funny, man? The fact that Korea is so different from the U.S., man. South Korea is another world altogether. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys have... We have a lot of the same things, but culturally, this is a little different. I just want to tell you guys, it just sounds funny. In the U.S., and those who are your American fans, Jin... They're going to think it sounds crazy, but they're going to take you up on that offer. They're going to at least want to take you up on that offer when you're hosting segments called Eat Gin. Brother, you're setting yourself up for all types of stuff in the U.S., man. But I guess it works in South Korea. You might be safe there. But in the U.S., brother, you would get your clothes tore off your body, man. I'm just saying, my brother. Let's get it. Oh, by the way, and, and August D., it was funny, too, because he said something about A-G-U-S-T-D. Wow, A G U S T D, and I'm sitting there while I'm watching the video. It was pretty funny to me because I was singing along with him too, was shouting out S T D. For those who don't know, S T D in America stands for um, wow, sexually transmitted diseases. That's what we hear. You know what I'm saying? Just like you know, it's funny because I was jamming along to that track, and I didn't realize it till afterwards when I was actually editing that video. You know what I'm saying? I was like, wait a minute, what's this? This brother had me singing STD out loud. Thank God none of my neighbors heard me. Let's get you guys. Do you know what it's called when a group of cows sing together? Let's, let's see what it means. It's called a group lawsuit? I'm oh, sorry, I didn't get that. You guys put me onto that. Let me know in the comment section I didn't get that, you guys. Wow. Who would have thought that? Jen is one of their vocalists and he struggled with singing and he just keeps trying. But he sounds amazing right now. That is the again. That's the willpower of wanting to do something no matter what. If you're passionate, these are the these are the rewards you reap. Some of them. he's singing right now that sounds smooth as hell man wow with the cool ass tender type of voice man you telling me this brother didn't know how to sing before he got down with BTS that's amazing amazing he sounds great all right my boy sugar let's get it sugar Like RM, Sugar, also known as Uggas D, is a rapper producer who received harsh criticism for leaving underground rap. Wow. I I'll be honest with you guys. I can't even imagine a, a guy who started off as an underground rapper in the United States actually making a transition like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe possibly into the R&B section of music and stuff like that. That's possible. I and it's, it's actually done a lot. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't say there's actually an underground rap artist that's ever done that, because that, that part I don't know. But there's a lot, you will find there's a lot of rappers who actually can sing and a lot of singers that can actually rap. But pop music, whole different level altogether. 
You know what I'm saying? And especially the way these guys do it, because the way he sings, the way that, at least as far as their pop music is concerned, I can't say all their music, you know what I'm saying? Because their music seems to have a lot of versatility to it. So I'm going to say this. As far as pop music goes, these guys seem to be like the kings of pop. They make the perfect songs, they back it up with the dopest choreography and everything and as far as visualization goes. And my brother, I'm going to tell you right now, I really like both sides of you. You know what I'm saying? I think you do very well when it comes to pop. I think you do very well when it comes to hip hop also too. So, you know what I mean? It's a completely different thing actually. You know what I mean? It's like a flip side. You know what I mean? And I understand what that's like because I'm a Gemini, which means I'm a dual personality. So, what you're getting a chance to do is be creative, creative on more than one level and you're doing great at it. <laughs> Hold up. Sugar is known for his rapid fire rap, which he coined in one song in as his tongue technology. Right. That's what he said in the, in the hook on that. He actually said that. A G U A G U S T S T D something something but my tongue technology. I, I ain't forget that. I only saw the video one time. You know what I'm saying? And I never forgot that part because that part stood out a lot to me and I had to agree with that. Ooh. Just a sample. Just a sample. <laughs> and I feel that too, bro. A lot of times people mistakenly get me the wrong way too because it seems like I don't care, but I actually care a lot. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I guess people just don't want to be taken advantage of, and that's what that is. So we're afraid to put too much of our heart on our sleeve because. You know, experience shows you, man, it can be used against you. You know what I'm saying? So I guess once he trusts somebody enough, then he's able to let out to fool him. You know what I'm saying? So I can understand that. He's basically guarded. You know what I mean? And it's just possible. It's just part of who he is. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's good to know he does have feelings. And he's probably one of the most passionate people you'll probably ever meet, actually. As it turns out, Sugar is just an introvert who likes to be alone with his music and he is always sleepy because he chooses to stay up late composing songs in his studio genius lab. I completely understand you, sugar, bro. You know what? Take all the time you need, brother, because we like the, the stuff you're doing, man. We, we love it. And you're dropping nothing but masterpieces. So if you need precious sleep, my brother, get it all. I'm sure everybody will agree with that. Let's do it. <laughs> Wow, he said, I think Sugar does like 365 songs a year. You know, like I said, man, the dude just said he, he stays up all night long in the studio doing music all day long. That's his passion. So for those who, re if you say that you really want fame, you really want to be successful at what you do, are you prepared to give up so much like he's doing? You know what I'm saying? He's not spending his youth running around playing basketball or bullshitting on, his, on the corners with his friends and stuff like that. I'm sorry I had to say that word, but yes. I mean, he's not bullcrapping, bro. He sees what he wants. He knows what he sees for his future, and he believes so much in it. And when you're that passionate about something, you don't even notice that you're not getting the proper sleep. You know what I mean? Your body starts falling on you, but your mind is still goddamn awake. And I know exactly what he's talking about, because I do myself stay up way later than I need to be, uh, you know, editing video, answering comments and things like that, but you know what? 
I love it. And I love the attention you guys are giving to all my content. So, so to me, it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's the least I can do. You know what I mean? And it doesn't seem like it has any hours behind it at all because you're so busy having such a great time doing something you like and knowing that there's people out there that are looking forward to it and stuff like that. That's precious. You know what I'm saying? And I can understand why that brother does that. So again, like I said, if you want to be successful at anything you do, the one thing I have to say to you guys is, man, are you prepared to sacrifice? Are you prepared to work more than eight hours a day like some people do at a job? You know what I'm saying? To build up to that level. You know what I'm saying? If you're willing to do that, then you know what? All power to you, my brothers and my sisters, by the way. You know what I'm saying? All power to you. But if you can't do that or you don't feel like you want to do that, then understand it's going to be really virtually almost impossible for you to rise up out of, the, out of the trenches the way you want to or the way you see yourself. You know what I'm saying? You have to put that type of effort behind it. And that's what it comes down to. There's nobody out there who's ever made it on their own that didn't go harder than the next person to, to become where they are. You know what I mean? Because it's hard to make it, number one, I'm sure. You know what I'm saying? So at least you have to put your mind frame in saying, I got to work harder to, the, I got to work harder than anybody else that wants it because a lot of people say they want it. You know what I'm saying? I have to make myself uh, what's called undeniably good at what I do. And that's exactly what I see RM and Sugar both do. You know what I mean? And I like that idea. So now you guys know they work really hard to make it look so damn easy, but yet still so hard. It's funny too. You know what I'm saying? When you watch it, I know I can't do that shit, but they do it effortlessly. But now you know they work at it. It's not just they could just do it like one, two, three. They work at it, man. Let's, let's get it, you guys. <laughs> In 2017, Sugar won an award for producing singer Saran's hit song, Wine. Wow. In 2018, and that's a song, by the way, it's not a rap song, you know what I'm saying? In 2018, he was one of 25 people promoted to a being a full member of the Korea Music Copyright Association. That, I'm sure, is an honor. Wow, Sugar was poor as a teen, worked part-time jobs and made money sacrifices, I'm sorry, and made many sacrifices to pursue music, a risky career move that led to fights with his parents. I told you he went through hell to get it to where he is today. My parents came up first time I went to the psychiatrist. I'm sorry. My parents came up the first time I went to the psychiatrist. They got counseling with me. They said they hardly know me. Wow, that's deep to say. In his self-produced 2016 mixtape, August D, for those who don't know, that's two years ago. This is 2018. It came out two years ago, 2016. Sugar opened up about his experiences with his social anxiety and depression. Wow. Who the fuck would think Sugar would have that kind of thing? Wow, bro. Wow. The people we look at as the most secure type of people, you know what I mean? The most confident type of people have their own issues. Wow. And again, the music was his outlet. <laughs> What song is this, by the way, you guys? If you know, hit up the comment section and let me know because it sounds pretty cool. I like the words. Okay, here's another explanation why the songs have so much meaning. Because of his own struggles, Sugar often writes lyrics to help listeners 
get through their most difficult times. He doesn't forget everybody because he knows where he where he's been and he never forgot that. You know what I'm saying? So he's talking to people who probably feel like he does. So everybody, I just want everybody to know, man, you know, we all get our ups and downs, man. But we could recover. That's the most important thing. We can recover. But that part is up to us. You know what I mean? It's about how much you want to. That's what I think. You know what I mean? And this is self-explanatory, I guess. Your boy J Hope, Mr. Airplane himself. Let's get it. Rapper, dancer, leader. Street dance, 10 years, rap shaped to the rhythm of my body. J Hope was locally famous street. Sorry, J Hope was a locally famous street dancer known for freestyles. Why wow, that's crazy to know. He was already locally famous in his area for being a great dancer. Unlike RM and Sugar, he only started rapping after joining BTS. For those who didn't know, and I know a lot of the guys from the army and a lot of the girls from the army already knew this because you guys plugged me. J Hope was a locally famous street dancer known for freestyles. Wow, that's good for you guys to know right now, too. And myself, too. You know what I'm saying? That my man Jay Hope was going to be famous no matter how you look at it. He was already locally famous before he even joined BTS for dancing. Are you surprised? I'm not. And he only started rapping after hanging out with BTS and learning from RM and Sugar. That's dope. <laughs> That explains why their choreography is so damn good. Bro, they got a guy who was locally famous for dancing, made him a part of the crew, and now, first of all, they say he takes him probably minutes to learn stuff that takes people hours. I know it would probably take me forever. But not only that, but he was able to contribute his choreographing skills to their stuff just because he has such a great experience with dancing and he's just that good. Apparently, to become a... Locally famous at anything, my friends. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about you have to be able to shine among others already that are already doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So your boy uh, J Hope came in the gate already knowing how to dance. So they just added another piece to their puzzle to make them even more better by having him a part of the team. Mm, boy meets evil. <laughs> J-Hope is their class clown, you can see. <laughs> no, one, no one can resist J-Hope's special brand of adorable quirkiness and WTF everyone. What the heck? Oh, what the fuckery, I think. Wow. Wow. That confused me. Now, yes. 
all English time, all English speaker. Okay, you look so happy. <laughs> why, why happy? J Hope trying to interview other members in English. <laughs> damn, all these brothers are tall. They all look about the same goddamn height. Like they're all about five ten, five foot eleven and shit. Excuse my language, but yeah, they look. All these brothers are pretty tall, I think. Ah, J Hope has a music studio himself. That explains the rapid ability to learn how to rap so well because he probably spends a lot of time there, you know. And for those who don't know, big shout out to Jay Hope. You know what I'm saying? He's got that mixtape right now, as you can see. It's called Hope World. So I guess I'm definitely going to check it out. Hopefully, you guys will also. <laughs> this is Airplane, and I really like this track too. This is hot. <laughs> Jimin, Jimin, Park Jimin, oh, I didn't know his last name was Jimin, okay, and Park, isn't that usually a last name? Wow, okay, vocalist, dancer, let's get it, Jimin. That's the brother I mistakenly thought was a woman at first, and the first time I watched the um, K-pop video with, you, with these guys, Idol. I ain't gonna lie, like, like I said before, I do apologize for making that assumption, but I didn't actually say that he was a girl. I just said, is that a girl? Because the, the way the camera was on him at that moment in time, bro, and the way he moved and things like that, it threw me off a little bit. And I ain't, look, nothing funny, but the brother looks is a pretty type of dude. You know what I'm saying? He definitely doesn't look like the guy you worry about if you were in prison. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? And it turns out from what people are telling me, he's probably one of the most masculine brothers out of all of them. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty crazy. That blew up in my face. But I got to learn about BTS after that particular video, and I definitely enjoyed my first time seeing that too. So that was what's up. Let's get it, you guys. That why fake love is choreographed so goddamn well and it has a classical choreographed type of dance style to it and i'm gonna tell you something each one of those brothers look like they were in a dance troupe am i wrong you know what i'm saying those brothers were really really good you know what i'm seeing right now too with all these different types of personalities that make up bts tell me if i'm wrong if i when i say this man it seems like every little thing from, from these guys, everybody adds to the table. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's contributing, contributing into BTS as a conglomerate. That's number one. And what they bring to the table, we, you get to see they put a lot of that on showcase. You know what I'm saying? From RM style of rapping and Sugar style of rapping, they throw that up there a lot. They showcase that a lot. Uh, your boy Jay Hope's type of personality and stuff like that. You know, you see a lot of that in there. You know? Um... You get to see Jimin right here with, the, with his dancing abilities and stuff like that, with the type of dancing he does. You know what I mean? You see that in their, in their stuff too. You know what I mean? You see J-Hope's dancing styles in a lot of their stuff also. So what I'm basically saying is each person in this group brings something to the table 100%. And they're so good at what they bring to the table, it just makes them look like they're overall and every type of thing really, really good. You know what I'm saying? And that's because they want to learn off of each other. They bounce things off of each other. That's what I see. As like brothers.
이 여행을 올초 3월 말부터 어떻게 몰래 박지민이지 <웃음> 지민이에겐 많은 관심과 사랑이 필요합니다 <laughs> you know, it's really good to see that in South Korea, a man being passionate and affectionate is not looked down on the way it is in the U.S. I'm sorry to say that. You know what I'm saying? I love my country and everything like that. I'm very, very, very much of a patriot of the United States. I love my country. But it's a shame that, you know, we cannot be affectionate. We can, but it's never received the right way. A lot of times when a man is being very affectionate, he's looked upon as weak. And that's what I see in South Korea. Those brothers can be who they are, man. And they don't even think twice about being the way they feel. You know what I'm saying? Because... It seems like the people just lets them, you know what I mean? They accept them for who they are, and I really, really dig that about the South Korean people. I'm sure the North Korean people are probably the same way, but they're not getting a goddamn chance because your boy Kim Jong-un. Dude, stop being a hater, man. Let the people enjoy themselves, man. Dude, you secretly listening to K-pop music, probably got a BTS goddamn poster on your wall. You know what I'm saying? You probably jam all day long the joke. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Kim. Stop playing around with your people. Let everybody have a good time. South Korea is having a good-ass fucking time, man. I'm just saying, bro, the place is lit. You the one missing out on stuff, and you causing everybody else to miss out, man. I'm sorry I had to go into that Kim Jong-un rant, but when I look at the, the... Come on, bro. This is the other side of a goddamn country, you guys. You know what I'm saying? There's a dictator on the other side of the country who's not allowing his people to really enjoy themselves and express themselves honestly. You know what I'm saying? Who the hell wants to be around fake type of passion and fake affection? I don't even think anybody in their right mind, I don't give a fuck how narcissistic you could possibly be. If you think people are being phony with you, bro, wouldn't it start to bother you after a while? But if you could just be yourself completely and the people still look at you and receive you the right way and accept you and give you pure love back, doesn't that sound like a better world to live in? I'm just saying, man, you know what I mean? Get it together, Kim, man. Stop playing games, my brother. Wow. Wow, you guys. Who would think that backstage you would see these brothers, especially my man Jimin, feeling insecure about making a mistake that the probably the crowd probably didn't even notice. <laughs> Wow. Sounding so angelic and yet so self-conscious about his voice, it bothers him the most. And it sounds immaculate. That's hard work. Oh. 
My man Kim. That's the dude that said it looked like he had a goddamn street jacket mixed with a shirt on. That's my man right there, right? With the all couture shirt. Let's get it, Kim. V is the son of farmers and said that he might have become a farmer himself if he hadn't been noticed when he accompanied his friend to auditions. Damn. So, so we're hearing right now that he accompanied his friend to auditions. God, I hope that wasn't the BTS audition and that he went with his friend and his friend really wanted to be a part of BTS and we didn't even know who BTS is at the time but his friend is probably saying oh my god I brought my friend to this audition he gets the part and not me damn he just shot himself in the foot well friend just at least know that uh, your boy is doing very well right now with it so he didn't waste it and neither did you by bringing him there he's actually making history because of you I hope in some way shape or form you get a chance to do the same thing brother good luck <laughs> singing R&B. Not only are they singing it, but they tearing it the fuck up. Wow. Yo, these boys keep showing me how nasty their skills are all the time, man. I'm not surprised, though. I probably shouldn't even be flipping the hell out, man. But I never heard them sing R&B yet. Okay? Have anybody been following me so far? I haven't gotten to any of the R&B stuff, and I definitely got to get into it. What song is this? Hit up the comment section, because I want to sing that song. Actually, I want to sing it and ruin it. I'll sing it on my own in the shower, but um, I'm not going to put you guys through that. But I want to react to that video too. Let's get it. If there's a video. V was officially declared to be part of the dance line after his solo in Singularity 2018, which is this year. I gotta see Singularity too. Mad people have been asking me to react to Singularity. That's coming too, because I keep hearing about that. Let's get it. Wow. Hear that powerful voice coming out of that guy's body is crazy, bro, because he doesn't even look like. I mean, again. Not that he doesn't look tall enough when I say big enough, but he doesn't look like a big burly type of guy with a voice like that, man. You know, that's usually what I would associate with that kind of voice. He looks like a nice little innocent type of brother who just... He looks like he wouldn't bite a piece of bread because he might be afraid that it might go, Ow! You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, his voice is huge. Wow, it's funny to hear that V is a fan of the dudes that he hangs out with. He's a big fan of Cypher. By the way, I also saw um, Cypher 2 and 3. I didn't see Cypher 1 and 4, but those are coming too, you guys. I'm working on that right now. I didn't forget about that because I definitely have to see the other two parts. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy to think that he's hanging out with the dudes that he's a fan of their music. He probably secretly says, damn, I wish I could run so I could have been part of that. Maybe there'll be a Cypher of four, 5, 6, 7, and 8 and I'll be ready this time. Hopefully you are, brother. Start shopping in your pen game right now, brother, because you might can do it. Let's get it. Ooh. 
라이브도 불안했었고요. 보컬도 이제 어느 정도 노력을 해야 되는 부분이 있었고 남준이 형, 윤기 형, 호석이 형 이제 만든 곡을 가지고 무대를 쓰는 게 정말 부러웠었고요. 저우지. Stalin, they like collecting Gucci clothes, playing the saxophone and photography. Ah, for people who think these dogs don't like to ball out a little bit, they rock Gucci like a lot of people like to wear it too. If they can afford it, I know I can't. You can't miss John Cook. He is the main vocalist and often at the center of dance formations. That's my boy right there. He's the one who tore that song up, man. He killed that song. Was, oh, man. I can't believe I'm about to say that. Fake Love, bro. I love that track. Fake Love. Fake Love. Mm, I love that song, man. It's hot, man. And again, the dancing took, took the video to another level together, man. Wow! Didn't want to sing, but end up becoming the most vocalist. Wow! Wow. There's a brother who could not be stopped. Obviously, something was going to pop off for this brother, man. No matter how you look at it, look at it. John Cook is good at stuff. As you're seeing right now, bro, he's doing stuff that everything that he does takes practice. Somehow he figured out a way to master all these things and still be the man he is today. Didn't really want to be the guy who sings the most, didn't want to sing at all. But he just happened to be good at that too. Damn, bro. Good thing he's not YouTubing. Wow. <laughs> My heart is burning. 
아왜 이렇게 됐어 너? 진영 때문에. 아왜 이렇게 됐어? 그런 거좀 보고 배우지 말라고 했잖아 형이. 제가 솔직히 보고 느끼는 배우고 하는 거는 거의 다 멤버들 영향이 크다고 생각해보면서 싶어요. 네. 저는 어떻게 보면 형들의 성격이 다 담겨있는 그런 인격체일 수도 있습니다. 네. 저 이제 15살 올라가지고 옆에 하는 되게 이제 뭐 어떻게 보면 잘 키운 거죠. 네. I s a you say that they raised me. 해줘서 고맙고 네. 앞으로 이제 우리, 우리끼리의 목표라는 게 있으니까 조금 Another thing I have to say that's definitely interesting, man, because here again in the U.S., we all, as fans of music, we might find a favorite band that we like or group and stuff like that, or artist, well, especially group or band, I want to say, because it makes the most sense for what I'm about to say is, you know what I mean? And you see these guys work so well together, and you follow them, you know what I mean? You become a fan of almost all of them, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much, you know what I'm saying? If not all of them, you know? And you see the camaraderie on stage. And you watch them in the videos and look like they're having such a good time. And then later on you find out that the group is breaking up. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't last even past sometimes one album. And why is that? Because everybody starts to have these bigger than life personalities and they conflict with each other. And then everybody starts to fight amongst each other. Behind the closed doors and behind the scenes a lot of times. And when they break up, as fans, we're always crushed and like... It comes from like a blind side. And we say to ourselves, how the hell did that happen? These guys are so cool. Where did, where did this go wrong? You know, and a lot of times, I hate to say it, it's jealousy. You know what I'm saying? One person, you may be jealous of the other person from getting more attention. He might feel that this person gets more than more than the, the average amount of attention compared to everybody else. Or uh, a lot of times it's just money. You know what I'm saying? And that's a shame because it's, it's the, the leading downfall to so much great things when people work together here. You know what I'm saying? In the States, I mean to say, you know? To them, it's probably the money's just extra to go and do the things they want to do without worrying about it. But you can tell they really enjoy each other's company. You know what I mean? You heard that brother say, it's like I got raised by these guys. He's raised by his older brothers. You know what I'm saying? They may not be blood brothers, but at the same time, he feels they, they, they love him like a big brother. You know what I'm saying? And they take care of him. And you can see when he talks about it in front of them, they look like they're moved by the words. You know what I'm saying? Look at his brother's face right now. He's look like he's like, you know, he's listening intently. You know what I'm saying? And he knows where this brother's coming from when he's talking about it, you know? <laughs> Come to our concert. <laughs> you saw the look of surprise on their faces. <laughs> I guess they were like, whoa, we didn't expect to win anything. The most active fan base in the world. And they worked for that. Worked for that. That didn't fall until they left. They worked for that. That's what's dope. First Korean group to perform on Billboard Awards and AMAs. Both. Both. 
Number one on iTunes, 100 countries. That's dope. Damn. Damn. Sorry, I want to hear that. Music and performance transcends language and countries and races. That's right, brother. That's my man RM right there. Music and performance transcends everything, language and stuff like that, no matter what race or color, man. I like that, man. That's dope. Like a rainbow, I don't care if you're red, I don't care if you're blue, orange, green, purple, whatever. I don't care if you're blue, orange, green, purple, red. He's right. Thank you for celebrating this great night together, and I love you all. That's dope, man. Thank you for celebrating this great night together. That was dope, bro. Yo. Big shout out to the RS Nation for telling me to definitely do a reaction video to this. You guys were definitely informative for telling me about this video would be the greatest introduction I could have into learning about BTS. And I have to agree with you. This right here was, it was only 28 minutes and 44 seconds, not even a full 30 minutes. And yet I feel like I learned so much about them. And it's credible right now to even think of the fact that these dudes only been together for a few years. You know what I'm saying? They didn't explode to I think 2016, am I right or wrong? And already they took the world by storm. To, to imagine, you're number one in a hundred countries. A hundred. Not your country, but a hundred. Ninety-nine others besides your own. That's work, bro. And when you hear these guys, where you would never think this is how they think and talk behind stage and you know, behind closed doors when we don't see them. When the cameras are not turned on as far as we can tell. You know what I'm saying? But these brothers go through all kinds of stuff and they hear these brothers had things like depression anxieties and things like that but yet still turns around and you couldn't even tell because of the work ethic and how much they love their fans how much they love art bro i'm really blown away by these dudes i already could i could already tell bts is going to be together for years and years to come bro they're going to be bts at like 95 years old even in their walker singing fake love fake love fake love you know what i'm saying <laughs> That's what I think. You know what I mean, these brothers look like they're gonna be together for a long time, man. And again, I want to send a special shout out to the BTS Army for you know putting me on to everything. And for some of you guys joining the Real Street Nation, man, by subscribing to the channel, I really, really appreciate you guys, man. I love you guys in the comment section, making this the most interactive comment section I've ever seen on YouTube or anywhere the fuck else. I really, really appreciate you guys, man. Again, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Real Street Nation, man. I really appreciate you guys for even spending time checking out the content. And I know this video was long. I do apologize, and I do apologize for stopping it constantly. But you know what it was, man? I was really trying to absorb this. You know what I'm saying? And if I didn't speak out for certain things that I saw, then I ain't gonna lie, from one thing to the next, I probably would forget about most important things that were discussed here. I'm Rico Lawless. This is Real Street News. Peace. One. <laughs>